Let me show you how a PHP framework handles a HTTP request. First, the request is received by the server. This is forwarded to a file called a front controller. That sounds technical, but it's actually usually just a index.php file located in a public folder called web or public. Inside of here, a request object is instantiated. This object encapsulates a snapshot of the PHP superglobals in their current state when the request is received. Next, an object called the kernel is instantiated. You can think of this kernel object as the heart of the framework, and you can condense what the kernel does into one sentence. It takes a request and turns it into a response. But let's dive a little deeper. One of the first things that the kernel can do is to dispatch a request event. Dedicated listener objects will be listening out for this event and they will be able to modify the request on the fly. Request needs a handler, i.e. a callable function that will take the information contained in the request and do whatever is required in order to produce the correct response. The handler will typically be a method on a control class, but it doesn't have to be. In fact, any callable will work. But before we get that far, the correct handler for the request needs to be located. Enter the router component. The router will read the request URI and using regular expressions, the URI is matched to a pre-configured route. This is a route which URI could define in our application. And each route has its own dedicated handler. Example, here is a posts forward slash 23 URI which matches this regex. This is handled by a show method on the post controller and the number 23 is matched to this ID part of the regex and passed in as the ID argument to the show method. If however a route is not found for the URI then an exception is thrown and caught by the kernel object and used to create a 404 error response. If the handler is found then it will do what it needs to do and return a successful response to the kernel. Just before the response is returned to the front controller i.e. our index PHP file there is a chance to dispatch a response event and this is an opportunity for any registered listeners to modify the response just before it is returned. Finally the response is returned to the front controller and a send method is called on the response which sends the content back to the client which made the request. And this can be a string containing HTML, JSON, or simply plain text. In PHP Framework Pro, we're going to build all the components in order to recreate the scenario I just described from scratch, as well as all the other parts which go into modern PHP frameworks, such as dependency injection container, database models and migrations, few templates, components for authentication, and all the rest. Here are some of the job descriptions I went through the last time I was in the market for a new role. As you'll see, every single one lists major framework experience as essential. This course is going to take things one step further by showing you exactly how those frameworks function and we're going to examine all of the techniques that they use. This will not only put you streets ahead of the competition in the jobs market, but it will give you a level of understanding which the majority of developers simply do not have. I'll see you on the inside.